What is good guys, No Sleeves 12 here. New master set player item for the Stanley Cup, and it's another great one. First of all, card art, absolutely out of control, just like the last two, but the 99 Evgeny Malkin looks absolutely fire. First of all, he's Gino, he's pretty big, 6'3", 200 pounds roughly, 2 to BU, 2 to BE. 99's pretty much across the board, his wrist shot accuracy is 99, perfect winger but if you do need that center like i've been saying for quite some time the team of the year cards have been kind of lacking in face-offs but now his team of the year card is also 99 in or 97 in face off so either one is going to be good depending on the synergies you need i want to point out something just on the market again this card is not much different than his team of the year card in fact his team of the year card has slightly better slap shot accuracy so if synergies aren't really important to you, make sure that you're not letting the Team of the Year Malkin go for less than the Master Set one because, again, uh, it, it, depending on what you need, they're extremely similar and you might be able to save yourself, you know, 100,000 coins and whatnot. We also got a bunch of returning legend cards. So like cards alumni that released throughout the year are now in um, better looking form, to be honest with you, for like the Stanley Cup, I guess. Uh, so the 97, Bernie Ferdinko and Gary Roberts. There's a few others as well. But again, they're much like their alum basic alumni cards where their speed is very low and their shot is pretty good. So I'm only really going to go over the higher end ones. Again, these are super rare, guys. So... I've said this all year long. Just because they're not 99s doesn't mean that you should avoid them or not pick them up. But if you're going to spend or if you're going to pack them, you you make way more money in coins than you do in what they're actually worth. Um, so, for example, this Gary Roberts. Um, a cool synergy because he's got plus four to, to speedster. So, I mean, he basically gets half the synergy himself, bumps up his speed quite a bit too, and his, and his shot is actually very good. He's also a unit, so that does help. Not a centerman, but... Um, that's fine. Now, uh, as far as his availability, 600K is only one on the market. Again, these are stupid rare. All the all the cards that they release, uh, you know, whether it be like the you know the special ones, even the Stanley Cup cards, even Team of the Years, really low pull rates. So the other one is the Bernie Federico, much much like Gary Roberts. Again, guys, uh, you can there there isn't really any even on the market, and he doesn't have max speed, which is fine. It's not like it's gonna kill you or anything like that. His shot is awesome. Uh, and he is pretty big, so if you can get him, that's that's as good as well. But again, they're so rare that you might have to play a premium. This one's going for a million. That's a hard pass for me. Uh, the other one that's interesting is the 95 Grand Fear, just like the 95 that you were able to do, I believe, at Christmas. No, the All-Star game uh, has four to BU. You basically get half the synergy yourself. But there's none on the market, so I mean, maybe it lowers the cost of them. It is still the best backup goalie uh, in the in the game currently. So I mean, if you have a couple hundred thousand that you want to blow on that, that's uh, I mean, again, BU isn't really t that tough to find at this point in the game, but still. The other returning legend alumni, we got a 97 Wayne Gretzky and a true 97, literally the poor man's, you know, master set. It's 97s across the board. So this is obviously a great card, but he's not going to have that much value because, you know, the 99 version is so easily obtainable. If you pack them, this one's tough. Like, I, if you pack this card, I don't know how much it's going to be worth. And it, because it's a true 97, that, that makes it a much better card than some other 97s or other cards that are rated that, you know, have a, have lesser shot, but they have higher the defensive ratings to make it higher. So I would probably hold on to it if you don't already have a wing. If you do, then instantly sell, obviously. Looking at comp season, so we still have the Paul Coffey 94 overall comp season going on, but looking up for next week, we got the 98 Bo Horvat with the Mika Zibinijad one going on right now. Uh, again, these these are getting into really good card territories, especially with GWC coming up. I'm going to talk about that in a second. These are all ones you really want to play in if you can. Uh, you know, again, especially if you're a top player, it's it's good to try them out now. Uh, looking into Stanley Cup cards, we have two teams that moved on. One I called the Islanders, and the other four people on the planet did so good for the columbus blue jackets i'm gonna take my lumps along with everyone else i don't really feel that bad because it's not like everyone else didn't take them i was never convinced they were gonna win that series even when they were up 3-0 it's crazy to me but we have cards so the 99s uh any of these 99s i think a lot of people bought them because they knew when they got up 3-0 a lot of people invested but then what happens is they don't really want to keep them so they want to sell them 
and you kind of oversaturate the market, you can get a couple for under 600k, which is pretty dope considering the amount of synergies they have. Two to everything that they already had. The one specifically I would look at is Cam Atkinson. He's um, very high shot and speed. Uh, the Josh Anderson's not bad. Obviously, it's that being a 99. But if you're looking at the stats specifically, uh, the Atkinson is definitely better, in my opinion. It depends on the shot you need as well. If we're looking forward, okay, so the, so the rest of the series, I looked at cards that were under 500k, so that are somewhat obtainable. And most of them are the St. Louis Blue cards. I don't have that much faith now. If they had a, if they if they had a one one and not split the series uh, to make it two two, I would have been fully on board. But uh, Winnipeg looks awfully good the last two games. I'm not really sure if I would invest in a St. Louis Blue card just yet. Jake Gardner's there as well. I called Toronto quickly in five. That obviously isn't going to happen. I still have a lot of confidence, but with Jake Gardner, his base stats. Uh, his shooting specifically is kind of low, so even if he, they do win the series, it's going to be on the lower end of the 99, so I don't even know if you'd want to invest in that. So I would honestly stay away, but again, this, anything could happen. We just watched the Columbus Blue Jackets knock out the Lightning in four, so I, I, like, I literally don't know what to do anymore. So guys, moving on to the GWC. This last weekend, we had the Europeans do their 128-player qualifier for Xbox and PS4. I went over that in my last video. Uh, again, so those guys that had qualified for the LAN have, for the regional have been done. Now, moving on to this weekend, we've got the biggest one, in my opinion. Canada's bracket, specifically on PS4, looks like a gong show. And me personally, I, I can't wait to watch it. So if you've watched any of my content when I'm streaming, doing these um, esports events, whether it be Toronto, the Lightning, the Caps, all of that, I love to do the commentary for the big games. I know all the big players. Uh, I can kind of pick out the better matchups. I'm 100% going to do that on Saturday. I believe it starts around 10 a.m. I'm going to stream around 10 a.m. regardless, but I'm going to be doing play-by-play -play the whole day for the big event to see who the final eight are that are going to qualify for the Canadian Regionals. Again, four on PlayStation four on xbox xbox specifically is interesting because it definitely has the highest top end talent out of any of the brackets you've got gren regs uh john wayne the the biggies are in that one but the canadian ps4 bracket is there's very few weak links um regardless if you know the top end talent isn't as high on playstation as it is on xbox because the xbox ones have literally two best players in the world arguably or close to it on playstation there's so many good hut players with amazing teams that I'm really, really excited to watch that specifically because you've got the potential of, you know, newer players that aren't really known, whether they aren't known in the competitive scene or content creators or anything like that. It's going to be fantastic to watch. And I'm really excited because when this is a lot on the line and you tend to see, you know, when the big players show up, it, it's usually amazing. So guys, I will be streaming that on my Twitch channel, 10 a.m., Eastern Time, www.twitch.tv slash nosleeves12. Go there right now. Hit me with a follow. That way, when I come on, you'll know exactly when. But if not, guys, be sure to check me out then. We're going to be covering the action all day, both both brackets, and uh, it's going to be a fantastic time. So, guys, thank you for watching today's video. I will see you guys next time.